Colin. Okay, so for Christmas this year, we had a bet going where we had to spend the least amount of money for the most thoughtful gift. And I got to thinking that you have really done a lot of cooking this year and I've been really proud of the progress that you've made. You started with eggs, moved on to stir fry, now you're the spaghetti master of all the universe. So you also mentioned that you'd like to learn how to cook a really good steak. So I wanted to walk you through it because I know you'd prefer to watch the uh, YouTube video as opposed to, you know, open up a recipe book. So I got a beautiful New York strip steak here. It's about a pound. You don't need more than that. You really don't even need this much, but I know how much you like steak. So, uh, you know, your preference is whatever you feel like that day. If you want something a little leaner, maybe a New York strip, if you want something with a little bit more fat, marbly, ribeye's great. Ribeyes are great for really anything. It's a little less per pound and more, more bang for your buck. So, um, as far as seasoning goes, experiment, do whatever you want. Usually you want to start with some salt and pepper. I love to use a little Worcestershire sauce. It has um, some good tenderizing properties. So I'm going to put a little Worcestershire sauce along with my salt and pepper that I've already put in here. Sea salt, of course. If you used iodized salt, I'll be very upset. And a little soy sauce. Usually you open these up first before you touch the meat, but you know, I like to live a little recklessly. So I'm going to take my steak here and I'm going to roll it around in this salt and pepper and Worcestershire and soy sauce. Again, this helps for tenderization. I also want to specify that it's a nice idea to have your steak at room temperature. So a lot of times, you know, we get home from Kowalski's or wherever we go to the butcher and we uh, put the meat on the grill or the frying pan right away. Try not to do that. It's really nice to start room temperature. Then you're not kind of like making you know, heating your steak up to try to make up for it. So I'm gonna wash my hands, and then we're gonna step over to the fryer. So I chose a skillet, if you wanna step over here. I chose a skillet. It helps to get a nice caramelized uh, bottom and top to your steak. And I'm gonna turn the heat on to get the pan nice and hot right away. Now. I love to use duck fat when I'm cooking a steak, but we don't have any, so we're going to use an alternative. We want the flavor of butter, but we also want the slow cook of Crisco, so we're going to use some shortening as opposed to lard or duck fat, and just a little bit. It helps so that you don't end up burning the house down or setting, the, setting off the smoke detectors. So I'm getting my pan hot. Put, I'm going to coat a little bit here with Crisco on the pan. Try to, try to get your whole pan here and if you've got a little extra you can leave it on the sides. It'll melt as needed. And then because Crisco is Crisco and not butter, you want to get a little bit of butter going here for the flavor. There's nothing like a buttered steak. And you can just let that melt, let it sizzle just a little bit. Recommendation, turn on your fan. Where'd my fan go? Here it is. Fan's on low. I'm going to crank it up to high, so I'll have to talk a little louder. Okay, so you can kind of start to hear the butter making a little noise, and that's a good thing. Now when you start on your steak, you're gonna want three minutes on the first side for, um, for really any, any level of cooked, whether you want it rare, medium rare, or well done, you wanna start with three minutes on one side. So now my butter is starting to bubble a little bit. I'm gonna set that steak down in here. All right, I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer. I'm seeing that the fat's dripping down a little bit and not quite sizzling as much as I'd like it to. Now you can kind of hear it working, so we're gonna go now. And you wanna get a nice sear when you set it down here. You can hear that nice sear noise, that's just what you want. And I'm gonna turn my pan my heat down just a little bit, so not quite on high. 
There's a lot of smoke that's produced when you're cooking steak, so you wanna make sure your fan's on and you're not too hot because you don't wanna burn the pan. So you're gonna do this for about three minutes. So three, zero, zero. So we're gonna take a look up here. Oh, there we go. All right. So instead of watching the clock, let's talk about some things that's happened over our year. So this year we've done a few different things. You quit your job and decided to be a police officer, so you went through school and that's delightful. You just took your post test and we're all very excited for you. Um, I quit my job about a year ago and then started working with Mode House and that's been great. Our dogs are wonderful and I didn't ever think that I'd love Kai as much as I do, but he's just like the most innocent, pure dog with good intentions but he's just super reckless. Like the other day when he gave me 